let's look at part B here. So, so uh, uh, the forces act for two seconds show that the final angular speed, right? This is our omega, is around 16 radians per second. Well, anybody who knows anything means that our, we better get a, a angular acceleration of eight uh, what radians per second per second because eight times two would be 16, right? But how do you get that that acceleration? So so there's gonna be two steps, right? So step one, okay, step one is uh, use torque as I alpha. Okay, now they tell you the moment of inertia, right? Okay, well, you're gonna put that in there, right? The torque that you get for this is going to be the answer to this, right? And then you're going to get an alpha, right? And then step two, we need to sue about that. Well, you know, you should get eight. <laughs> if you don't get eight, you, you know, take take an inventory here. They're telling you an answer, right? The most common mistake is when you're doing the torque that you forget that there's two of those, and so you forget, you know, you get four instead of eight. Right? Okay. So anyway, the final step is we need to show that, right? <laughs> so show your steps. So our initial, our theta, we don't care about initial, final angular velocity. <coughs> Alpha and T, right? Our initial is, well, I guess it starts from rest. Do they say it starts from rest? Cylindrical. Oh, is it rest? Okay. And not rotating as well. So that's zero, right? Uh, the final is what you're trying to find. The alpha is what you get from this, right? Mm -hmm. Plug that guy in, right? Uh, time is uh, 2.00 seconds. Uh, hopefully you'll get a final angular velocity of 16 radians per second. All right.